Hello and welcome to another demo for Portworx PX Backup. This time we'll be looking at PX Backup version 2.1 which helps you protect any application, any containerized application that's running on a Kubernetes cluster which is backed by a generic CSI driver. So you no longer need Portworx as your Kubernetes storage layer, you no longer need uh, uh, AWS EBS, uh, GKE PD or Azure Disks as your backend. You can use any storage backend. In this demo, we'll specifically talk about Red Hat, OpenShift, OCS or ODF, uh, OpenShift Container Storage or OpenShift Data Foundation as the storage layer and use uh, consume storage and protect that application that we are using. In this case, we are using WordPress and back it up from an OpenShift cluster and restore it to a GKE cluster. So we'll show how you can leverage PX backup, not just to protect generic CSI backed um, uh, persistent volumes and applications, but also restore them to a completely different storage backend. So let's get started. We have a PX backup instance that's up and, uh, up and running. We have added our two clusters. The Red Hat OpenShift cluster is actually running in AWS region US East 2 and the GKE cluster is running in uh, US East 1 B region for GKE. Both of these clusters are running different versions of Kubernetes. So OpenShift is running actually 1.20, whereas GKE is running a, a, a more latest 1.21 release uh, as, their, as the Kubernetes version. We have also configured uh, cloud settings. So we have connected our AWS cloud and we have connected our GCP cloud account and we have configured a couple of backup locations as well. So the first one is uh, an S3 uh, object storage bucket in AWS. And the second one is a Google Cloud object storage bucket uh, in my Google Cloud account. So you can use PX backup to customize your backup jobs and store your backup snapshots in different locations, in different clouds using just one single instance. So let's go ahead and create a backup job. Uh, but before we do that, let's look at our application. So uh, let me clear out of this. So we have a WordPress hyphen demo namespace that's uh, created on our OpenShift cluster. If we do a kubectl get nodes, you will see we have a three master and three worker setup for our OpenShift environment. Uh, if we look at all the resources that are deployed in our WordPress hyphen demo namespace, you will see that we have a couple of deployment objects, a couple of pods, a service objects, replica sets. And if we do a kubectl get PVC in the same namespace, you'll see we have a couple of persistent volumes that are using OCS hyphen storage cluster hyphen Ceph FS storage class to provision read write once a uh, persistent volume that's used by my WordPress deployment. So let's see how easy it is to, to create a backup job for this uh, uh, application, a demo application, and then we'll perform a restore operation as well. So you can navigate to your uh, primary cluster, in this case, the OpenShift cluster running on AWS. We uh, PX backup automatically inventories all the different namespaces uh, and the resources that exist inside those namespaces in your cluster. So if you find WordPress hyphen demo as the namespace, we can select all resources. Uh, you can individually select these resources if that's what you want to do. But in this demo, we'll uh, select all resources, which includes the deployments, pod, service, objects, and the persistent volume claims. We can scroll up and hit on backup. Here we can give our backup job a name, OpenShift WordPress backup. And then we can select our backup location. So you can either choose to protect and save this application in an S3 bucket or a Google Cloud Object Storage bucket. Both of these have been added by our backup admin. Uh, let's select PX Backup 21. I want to store my snapshots in AWS S3. Uh, for CSI snapshot class, this is what's new. Like I can now select a CSI snapshot class for any storage regardless uh, like of the storage backend. I don't need Portworx running on my Kubernetes cluster anymore. So we'll select the Ceph FS plugin hyphen snap class uh, because that's the original storage class that we are using. And then uh, in addition to storing a local snapshot, I can also offload the CSI snapshots to a backup location. So this is important for organizations who want to comply with the three to one backup policy, uh, where we are storing three copies of data, including the primary copy. 
uh, two different types of media. So the first type is running it locally on the Kubernetes cluster or OpenShift cluster uh, on OCS, which is backed by EBS drives. And then uh, second media type is AWS S3, which is object storage. And then one uh, off, off, uh, one offsite copy. So in this case, I'm storing it in AWS, but you can uh, choose, like if you're running an on-prem OpenShift environment, you can store it in AWS S3 as well. For this, I could have chosen to uh, back it up in my Google Cloud object storage bucket. I can take an on-demand or an ad hoc backup job, or I can uh, use a schedule uh, that's available for me. So I'll create an hourly schedule for this specific demo app. Uh, if I want application consistent backups, I can select a pre and post exec rule. And then once we have configured all of those details, I can just simply hit create. Once you hit create, PX backup talks to your OpenShift cluster, initiates that backup job, takes an application consistent snapshot and copies not just your persistent volumes and the data, but also all the different Kubernetes objects and stores it in the S3 backup repository. So that's the backup workflow. Uh, we don't want to wait for the backup to complete. Uh, we have a few backups from earlier in the day that we have taken. So we'll just use one of them to perform a restore operation. So let's choose the demo hyphen backup as the backup snapshot to restore from. So we'll uh, click on that particular snapshot. You can select it and hit restore. We'll give the restore a name. So I'm restoring it to a GKE cluster. Uh, and it's a WordPress app, so I'll give that a name. I'll select the GKE cluster. And here I can do a default restore and it will try to use your default storage class and your default default namespace. Or I can do a custom resource, resource where I can select the destination storage class. So in this case, I'll use the standard GKE uh, storage class as my destination storage class. And since I don't have a WordPress hyphen demo namespace, I'll, I have a WordPress hyphen demo hyphen restore namespace already created on the GKE cluster. So we'll go ahead and select it. Uh, since I'm migrating my application and not doing like a one-time restore for an accidental deletion, I'll restore all the resources that exist in the group and then just hit restore. At this point, again, uh, PX backup starts talking to the GKE cluster, uh, works with the Stork uh, daemon set that we have running on the GKE cluster and initiates the restore operation. This is where it pulls down my snapshot copy from AWS S3 uh, and then starts restoring the persistent volumes to begin with. Once the persistent volumes are restored uh, and up and running, uh, we, uh, PX Backup will then initiate the restore for the deployment, Kubernetes deployment object and the pods and service objects. So let's navigate to the CLI uh, where we are running uh, GKE. So if we do a kubectl get nodes, here you can see that uh, we have a three node GKE cluster that's running version 1.21.5. If I do a kubectl get ns, I can see the WordPress hyphen demo hyphen restore namespace. If I do a kubectl get all in the WordPress demo restore namespace, here you can see that uh, our de deployment objects and pods are already in the container creating stage. This means our persistent volumes should be up and running. So let's do a kubectl get pvc in the WordPress hyphen demo hyphen restore namespace. And here you can see uh, we have our MySQL PV claim and uh, WordPress PV claim. Both of those are bound, uh, like created and bound to our pods. Uh, each of them have a capacity of 20 gigs. And then it's using my standard storage class in GKE uh, and using read write once. If I do a kubectl get sc, I can see all the different storage class that, uh, classes that are configured. So standard basically uses kubernetes.io uh, backslash gce hyphen pd as uh, the storage layer. So uh, let's see if our pods are up and running. And that's it. Like we have successfully restored WordPress from an OpenShift cluster running in AWS uh, to uh, a GKE cluster that's running in a different region and a different cloud completely. This is how easy it is to leverage PX Backup 2.1 to perform these backup and restore operations. That's it for this demo. Thanks for watching.